is your is Lord. Your Lord. Lord. How do we define which practices are Islamic and which are not? How do we know which aspect of culture common among Muslims is indeed Islamic and which ones are not? Personal hygiene, cleanliness, hospitality, charity, the sense of the family, the sense of community, cultural practices that exist among Muslims that are contrary to the teaching of Islam. Some people are not aware of that and in some instances even they may think they are based on Islam. Also among the things that weakens, makes the heart weak, is to rely upon other than Allah. To have tawakkul not on Allah. You don't trust Allah, you don't rely on Allah, you don't depend on Allah, you depend upon other than Allah. Then, if you depend upon other than Allah and rely upon other than Allah, then this heart will be sick heart. You know, if you want your heart to remain firm, put your trust in Allah. Then you will not fear anyone but Allah. Read in the Quran. فَلَمَّا تَرَاءَ الْجَمْعَانِ قَالَ أَصْحَابُ مُوسَىٰ إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ قَالَ كَلَّا إِنَّ مَعْيَ رَبِّي سَيَهْدِينَ The Quran tells us that when, you know, Musa alayhi salam, he took the Israelites, Banu Israel, from Egypt. And then, the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh, and his troops followed them. When the day, by the, when the day started to break, the troops of the Pharaoh behind the Musa and his people, and the sea in front of them, so they are sandwiched. There's no way to escape, true or not. So the people of Musa said, Oh Musa, we are finished will be taken, will be captured. Musa said, nay, no way. They cannot catch us. What are you talking? They're behind us. He said, no way. Kalla, nay. Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Verily, I have my Lord with me. I have Allah with me. He's the one who's going to save me. And what happened? Hit the sea with your stick and staff. And what happened? And the sea split. This is the tawakkul. When the heart relies upon Allah, nothing shakes it. Nothing. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he migrated from Mecca to Medina. And the mushriks, they made a prize Whoever brings Muhammad dead or alive, 100 she camel. And one guy who's an expert in reading the footprints followed them. His name was Suraq ibn Malik. And he followed the Prophet Abu Bakr Siddiq said, Oh, Prophet of Allah, someone is after us. He said, don't worry. And what happened? The land was so rocky. It's a rocky land. It's not more land, rocky land. And the four, the two hands and the two legs of the horse sank into the rocky land. So the horse fell down. The rider also fell off. And then he jumped. And he tried to do this to follow the Prophet and to catch the Prophet. And it happened to him three times. Then the Prophet Wasallam turned to him, said, Suraqa, don't waste your time. You cannot catch us. Allah is our protector. Don't waste time. But I will tell you something, Suraqa. Go back, and I will promise you to give you the bangles, the bracelets of the king of Persia. Can you imagine the Prophet Sallallahu is chased, wanted, and he's promising the bangles, the bracelets of the emperor of Persia? And the years passed, and Islam spread, and Suraqa became a Muslim, 
and during the Khilafah, the reign of Umar ibn Khattab, the Muslims took Persia and they brought the bangles, the bracelets of the king of Persia, the emperor. And Umar ibn Khattab said, where is Suraq ibn Malik? Stand up, give me your hands. This is what the Prophet promised you. So this is the tawakkul. He's telling him, 